Welcome to our advanced calisthenic circuit workout. If you've been training for a few years and feel pretty strong on body weight exercises, give this advanced routine a shot. Perform these exercises as a circuit, completing one set for each movement in sequence. Set a timer and perform each exercise for 30 seconds. Try to limit your rest between exercises and execute one to three total rounds. First up, crow pose. Get into a deep squat position and plant your hands on the floor. Tip your body weight forward slowly and rest your knees on top of your elbows. Extend your back and hips so that your body weight is supported on your hands and hold the position. I want you to sense, feel, use, and utilize that breath by breathing in, letting some out, and holding tension in the core. That'll provide the stability that you need to maintain position. Jump squat with rotation. Lower your body into a squat and then explode upward as high as you can, all energy vertical. Swing your arms back to load up like a spring. Land softly, driving your knees outward, hips back. Hop 90 degrees to your right and repeat the jump. Hop back to face forward again, jump and then rotate to face the left now and then jump again. Continue in this manner, jumping in the three different directions. Don't let your knees cave inward on your landing and make each jump as vertical as possible. The Hindu push-up. Get into a good push-up position, making sure from the get-go you can feel core and glutes. Drive your hips backward as you extend your arms overhead. You'll end up in a downward dog pose. Now, lower your chest toward the floor in an arcing motion, finishing the push-up with your chest facing forward and your hips just above the floor, an upward dog pose. Keeping your core tight, so that your ribs don't flare. A cue that I like to use is as you exhale during the movement, act as if you're fogging up a window and avoid shrugging your shoulders, keeping the shoulder blades down and back as you move toward the floor and spread apart as you push up. The candlestick roll. Get into a deep squat position and roll backward softly onto your shoulders. Make sure to watch your head. Roll forward again and go into the bottom of a deep lunge with your back knee pointing 90 degrees to the side. The heel of your front foot should stay flat on the floor and guide that knee over the big toe. Remember, just like the jump squat, no caving in. Repeat on the other side. Lateral squat with rotation. Shift your weight to your left leg so that you feel like you're sitting into your left glute. Now. Raise your right knee up and outward, planting your right foot on the floor and at a 90 degree angle. Both heels should be in alignment. Lower your body slowly with the breath, keeping a long spine from your head to your pelvis. X's and O's. Lie on your back and extend your arms and legs to perform an X shape. Flatten and actively press throughout the entire exercise your lower back into the floor no arching. On exhale, perform a crunch, drawing your knees to your chest with your arms. Planch with scapular protraction. Hold your body in a nice straight line from head to tailbone to ankle. First and foremost, this is a plank. With your core brace and squeezing your shoulder blades together, move so that only your torso is going closer or further away from the floor. As you spread your shoulders apart, you will raise back up. And remember, hold that nice straight line position throughout the exercise. The jumping lunge. Get into a good lunge position first. Rear knee is gonna be just above the floor and front knee bent at a 90 degree angle. Jump and switch legs in midair, landing with the opposite leg forward. Drive the arm that's opposite the front leg forward on every rep. The arms are crucial because they get left behind. You know, we get wrapped up in the legs, but make sure we're driving the arms, breathing, and landing quietly. Try to land soft. Use the coupon code GETONIT to get 10% off Alpha Brain on onit.com. Now, let's get back to the video. The lateral hop. 
hopping side to side and ensuring that we land with control, load into the hip when you land, and remember, land soft. It may help to place an object on the floor to jump over. The L-sit pull-up. Grasp the bar with hands outside shoulder width. Raise your legs up straight in front of you as you pull your body up until your chin is over the bar. All right, mammoths, thanks for watching. If you want to find me, I'm on Instagram, at The Mobile Mammoth. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want more calisthenics workouts like this and want to see the full article, click the link below.